Okay, okay, okay. I don't even know how to start this video. Oh my God, 64 gigs, like get out of here, dude. They're both here. This is the new 16 inch MacBook Pro and this is the new 14 inch MacBook Pro. I have been waiting for a MacBook like this pretty much my entire life. Well, maybe not my entire life, that might be exaggerating a little bit. Maybe, but for like the past couple of years, ever since they removed the SD card slot, the SD card slot is back. We have a three Thunderbolt 4 ports. We have freaking HDMI ports. We even have MagSafe. I don't even wanna talk anymore. I need to open these up because I can't wait. Should I open them both at the same time? Because I feel like I don't wanna give one more love than the other. We're gonna open them both at the same time. Okay. I can't burn up. I'll just. Space gray, 14 inch, and we have the silver 16 inch. Oh, whoa. Oh. It really, this is crazy because it actually, I'm, oh. It feels like the old school MacBooks. It's like the Mac is freaking back. The bottom has the MacBook, like they have the MacBook Pro, like they had it engraved. Oh, wow, okay, so here's the 16 inch. Oh my God, the silver is beautiful. This is, it's heavy. I'm so used to that 13 inch. <laughs> wow, like I can't, I actually cannot wait to work. The MagSafe cable is braided. Oh shoot, look at that. It's a braided cable. I wonder if the space gray, is it darker? No, space gray cable, same color. Freaking MagSafe is back. Full size HDMI, a Thunderbolt 4 SD card slot. We've got our other two Thunderbolt 4 ports. We also have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and our MagSafe. Hold on a second, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. Oh yeah, that is satisfying. Oh, look at this. The brick is, it's not square anymore. This is like an elongated brick. Check it, check it. I also got one of the extension cables because it's honestly one of the best purchases that I've ever made because I hate plugging this into the wall. It always falls out, especially on flights. It just never really stays in. So this is the extension cable. So this just plugs right into the power brick and will give you a much longer cable. This is the 140 watt USB-C power adapter. That goes to our 16 inch and 14 inch is still that square size. And this one is a 96 watt charger. So you guys can see the size difference of both of those. It's uh, actually, it's pretty significant. So with the space gray, you get your black stickers. Let's see if the stickers are white on, no, actually both versions give you the black stickers. Look at that. So Apple announced not only one, but two new chips. They have the M1 Max and the M1 Pro. Both of those are gonna be incredibly powerful. We'll talk a little bit more about the differences in those, but honestly, I just wanna open these up and that's really what I wanna do. Like this is giving me such old school throwback vibes for some of the old MacBooks. Oh, look at this. Oh, instant freaking what? I feel like I'm actually gonna cry and I don't want to cry, but sometimes I can't control my emotions and this is one of those times. Look at this. I like that they changed the background for each of the size variants. So on the 14 inch, they've got like this little red background and on the 16, they have the blue. Now I'm like debating, did I make the right choice on the size of the laptop that I got? Because for the past year, I've been using the 13 inch MacBook and I got very used to that smaller screen size. So I ordered the completely spec'd out MacBook Pro 16 inch, but this 14, is a very nice size. And traveling with the 13 inch was so great because it was so much smaller. But look at this. This is, this is thick. This is beefy. Editing on this is gonna be a freaking dream. The keyboard is all new. It also looks so strange without the touch bar. It's like, it's naked here. It's like, where did your, where did your clothes go? It's really fresh, super clean. So this is the base model 14 inch MacBook Pro. This has the eight core M1 Pro chip. It has 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. And this is gonna run you about $2,000. That is the entry level. And this is still gonna be so incredibly powerful. If you're looking to save some money, but still wanna get one of these updated machines, this could be the way to go. I 
have been editing some incredibly processor intensive things over the past year on that 13 inch M1 MacBook, I have pushed that thing to its absolute limits. So the fact that this is an upgrade from that, I think a lot of people are gonna be incredibly surprised with this base model. But then on the other hand, we're over here, we've got the 16 inch, the Apple M1 Max chip with 64 gigs of RAM. This has four terabytes of storage and this is the 10 core model. So there are various configurations that you guys can choose. Look how big these speakers are, holy moly. Let's check out these ports. So over here, we have our MagSafe, we've got our two Thunderbolt, Four ports, we've got our headphone jack, and we have our full-size HDMI out, which is so impressive. Another Thunderbolt 4 and our SD card slot. Mm. You can see the hinge also looks very different than the previous version, and this bottom, like I love that MacBook Pro font, like that looks great. I'm actually kind of digging the silver. I had been going all space gray over the past couple of years, but the silver really is kind of that throwback because this is what the original MacBooks looked like. I like the rounded edges. There are gonna be a lot of very happy Apple people when these start shipping. all weekend and I'm so excited. You guys may remember Nathan. You've been in some like videos before. You, yeah. We used to shoot a ton of stuff together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hit you up and I go, yo, I got, I know you've got some crispy 8K footage. I do. I there it, it is. Brought it with me. So I'm so excited because I obviously edit a ton in Final Cut, but you've been editing recently in Resolve. Yeah, I switched to Resolve like around version 15. And so what do you mostly shoot? You know, I've been doing a lot of different things. Some corporate videos, some big commercials, some music videos, and then like some fun, small scripted projects. Nathan shoots tons of crazy high quality stuff. So I was like, I know you've got some footage. Can you bring some over and can you do a little workflow test mm. to see how this new M1 MacBook stands in comparison to like what you've been using. And I've been on a 2018 uh, fully loaded MacBook Pro since 2018. I'm going from Intel to just the first interaction with an Apple chip. Well, let's interact. Okay, is this it? Dude, this is it. So this is the 16 inch. This has the M1 Max and I also have the 14 inch here. And honestly, the craziest thing about this is the fact that we can get all of the same specs in the 14 inch. You put 64 gigs of RAM yes. in the 14. And an eight terabyte solid state drive. I edited this entire YouTube video, all of this, in bed with a blanket, I heard oh, well, that's not cool. a single fan. What? Barely got warm. So this is 422 10-bit. So you've been shooting a ton of 8K footage recently. I have been so. shooting a ton of 8K footage on the Canon. There's a crumb on here. That's uh, from a muffin I had earlier. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to look at that. Okay, I'm gonna open up this 8K library, pop in some of your footage and final cuts, and I did have to install a Canon plugin because you shot this on the this, R5 this all raw. This is Canon R5. This is not the raw light. This is is the full blown raw. I am really excited to see what this computer can do with this footage because this footage is a beast. I cannot work with this footage in its native state. Right out of the camera, 8K raw, here we go. This looks good. This looks amazing. I wanna see what you did. So how did you click, where's the optimize button? What did you so do? So it's over here. So if you go into view, so you can mm -hmm. do better performance. Theoretically, you can just start cutting right out of the camera. And Should you we do, do a do little anything. color? Like we wanna add some. Let's take so a if look. this was mine, I'd be like, let's up this saturation <laughs> all the way. <laughs> do it. There's a lot in there. Let's, let's, there let's is. do it. This is so fun having like the second display, but the crazy thing about this is like, I can do all of this on this, here. The resolution on, on here is nuts. I know. Look at that. How's that look for you? I think that looks great. I think Should we send it off to the client? Mm-hmm. How about this nice little tint? Oh, yeah. I mean, these are adding these onto this 8K footage like real time. And it's still playing it's back. It's still playing back. What if we add, let's just get a little crazy and add. This is still cruising. It's still cruising. This isn't even like ProRes. This is still the raw. Okay, One, two, on. three, four, five. <laughs> this is, She's just stacking the video. This videos. is wild. So I want to see like kind of what Good. you would be doing in Resolve. I, I very... again, have not really used Resolve very much. My heart just stopped. Do we? Ha I think we might have a defibrillator just in case. Uh, this is insane. Is this, is this not something that happens? We're playing back 8K raw. 
over eight. We're at 8192 by 4320 at 24 frames. We don't have optimization turned on. We don't have proxies rendered. The hard thing is it's like we're showing you this and it's running so seamless that having any type of comparison, like you don't understand, like this is things that you could not do before. Could not do. Can I just apologize? Why? Everyone's gonna comment that I wrote Justin's stuff when we started this project. That's I'm okay. I'm so embarrassed. That's I fine. I have remedied the situation. <laughs> it's now Justine's stuff. And we've also got the studio version now of Resolve. We've got your key in and now what what, what are you gonna show us? Okay, we're gonna look at noise reduction. The footage doesn't need it, but noise reduction is one of those things where if you have the coolest computer in the world and you add a full-blown layer of DaVinci Resolve temporal noise reduction, it's gonna slow it down. Mm -hmm. Temporal noise reduction, keying off of every five frames, mm -hmm. motion estimation type, better. Well, yeah, you gotta. You gotta. If this plays, are you gonna freak out? I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> well, you're obviously gonna go buy I one. I can't even, here, you hit the space bar. He's gone, he's gone, he, he, Nathan has left us. He's gone to the Apple store. Or do you wanna cry, should I get you a tissue? Are you gonna be okay? I'm no. not sure. No, help me open up another line of credit. So I can... <laughs> this is really amazing. I mean, the fact that this is really going to be game changing, I feel like for so many people, especially if you're just on sets and you wanna just, Put in this AK footage right there. That's I mean, it. for you, you're out in the field too. In the battery time. life, the battery life on the M1 was so absolutely impressive on mm. the 13 inch. And this one has been significantly improved. This is the baseline 14 inch. You can also do two Pro Display XDRs, but on the 16 inch, you can do three Pro Display XDRs plus an output of a 4K TV. So just in case you needed a little bit extra. So this is the same AK footage that we're working with yep. on the 16 inch completely spec'd out. This is the baseline 14 inch on the M1 Pro chip. Of the new computers, the new laptops, this is the cheapest I can get. Yes, let's see what we can do. All right, we're gonna just drop that in. Oh, come on. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's playing. How is it doing this? <laughs> oh my goodness. I quit. Well, no, don't quit. I just, buy. just you buy. <laughs> but like how much time you're gonna be saving. Like yeah. honestly, I, I think mean, that's the thing that a lot of people who aren't doing the type of high-end work that you know a lot of people in production are doing, or even like me and Tyler are doing on YouTube, like this is gonna save us days. Days, days of time waiting for things to render, waiting for things this to export. Major. It's actually incredibly impressive. It's just live add on a filter. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's that's fine. Pretty. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. This looks nice. Here, let's just add on another one. Okay, cool. This is the, not the extreme chip. This is the- M1 Pro. The Pro chip with only 16 gigabytes of RAM. 512 gigs of solid state drive. The like, smallest, this is... the smallest, the smallest, the cheapest, yes. the cheapest, the cheapest. And you see what we're doing. And it's still able to do this. And it's hand, it's pushing it out to this big screen over yep. here. This is nutty. No, let's flip this it. This completely, oh my god. Look at this, this is absurd. Okay, but, but the fan is the finally fan. turning on. Finally! <laughs> it took how many layers? We have to count. How many layers did you add? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 effects before the fan even turned on. Like my old 16 inch MacBook, like mm -hmm. if you even just turn it on. It's, it's like, okay, time 10 to times, kick in the fans. It's 10 times louder than this. Mm -hmm. Okay, resolve. Oh, I and I had resolve open that whole time. What? It was open while we were doing and that test. And you have iTunes, Oops. you have music open. You, oh, oh, I didn't even notice. And notes. Oh, geez. Okay, so we, <laughs> correction, and while so, we were so doing how that. How many tabs in Safari? Oh, a couple. Multiple Safari huh. tabs. Two, three, four. Yeah, we had Resolve open while we were doing that test. Can you believe that? <sighs> Oops, I'm Resolve's speechless. open. Show me what you got. Well, I, yeah, well, I mean, I feel like we know what we're gonna get. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah. 8K footage in a 1080 timeline, and here comes some temporal noise reduction, and we're going to max it out. Here comes the boy. Okay, here we go. So <laughs> it did 18 frames, I believe, last time. 18, 19 frames. It's still I playing mean... though. Do you? What does it do for you on your? Oh, work? first of all, I can't even play the .CRM file, so that plays in real time. And then we add noise reduction. Is it? But it's still playing. It's like, still playing. Yes. That's still doable. Yeah. And still. Yeah. I hear the fan a little bit. Do you? I think oh. that might. I think that's the a light over there. That I don't think that's the fan. Okay, but if you don't know if you hear it, like what the That's fair. I swear I think it's that uh, light. It could be. The real con contrasty Super saturation. But already, I mean like that's where we started. Yeah, that's a big difference. Right now. And then this colors. Look at that. We haven't added any saturation. No. 
I'd probably make it like a little warmer, maybe, just because I feel like there's a lot of, so like I'd like some, some warmth in those rocks. Oh, this is so fun telling somebody else what to do. Yeah, a little masky mask. And then it's an unusual shape, so we'll draw it. There we go. So that's a little, that's a little crazy. No, that's but great. It's so I like snappy. it. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. Now it's like lava rocks. Right. Pretty cool. Let's see how fast it'll track. Okay. So we'll go here. Oh, so you do have tracking. We have oh, tracker. Nice. Boom. It just automatically analyzed all of these motion tracking points. And then I'm going to play backwards and it's gonna track reverse. It looks a little weird once it gets covered with the I don't water. think so. I don't think so because you like it? it looks no. like there's something underneath. Well yeah, because there is something underneath it. Um just as a reminder, the lowest end. Yeah, we're doing all of this. New MacBook. I could just sit here and play all day long. Me too, but unfortunately we have to go edit this video and post it tomorrow. So Well mm. then boy. Wow. I, I think I'm gonna go get one. Yeah, you should. I you really should. should. You should. You should you should. Okay, Nathan, how are you feeling after our edit session? My mind is blown. Most blown with the 14 inch mm -hmm. Mac. I was surprised too because I hadn't done any extensive testing because I edited mm -hmm. my entire Sony project on the 16 inch right. and was so blown away by that. I'm even more impressed by the baseline 14 inch. <laughs> and it's like, crazy. we're doing high end processor intensive things. So yeah. just everyday tasks for people doing simple photo editing, email, everything loads so fast and snappy. Yeah, I have, okay, so I'm sure you've probably done this, but I've accidentally selected all and then opened up a bunch of images <laughs> and like files. Into Photoshop? Yes, by accident. Oh, yeah. So I opened up a like probably like 45. It was a ridiculous amount of 4K clips by accident. That's when you just command quit the whole. You shut down the whole computer and no. start over again. By the time it would have taken me to force quit the entire Finder, they were already open and playing, and I was like, "What? This is crazy. on the new one." Yes. <laughs> It was like so mind blowing. So it's like simple things like that that I think people aren't realizing is gonna impact them on just sort of like a, like a baseline level. Like you can load things so quick. We're gonna be super spoiled. Uh, super I, spoiled. Yeah. I mean, I was super spoiled when I got the Mac Pro and now I'm like, okay, this MacBook is actually gonna be replacing an entire computer, which is. That is so crazy. Do you hear what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, the Mac Pro that I have now is a completely spec'd out model. I don't even know what the price of it is in total, and it's 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 tens it's of thousands of dollars. By the time we have the the monitors, the updated RAM, the afterburner, everything completely spec'd out, and now to go to this, a six thousand dollar MacBook. Why would they? Or even a two thousand dollar MacBook to completely replace it. It's like they out invented themselves. It's really impressive, and I know that I'm the kind of person that like I need to be more present. I need to live in the now. But when that 13 inch MacBook came out, I knew that whatever was coming out next was going to be ridiculous. And this is still setting up because we don't even have a, an iMac Pro yet. We're gonna definitely see oh another my Mac Pro. With all the, the new chip. And yes. The, uh... So just think about where we are now and like what the future is gonna hold. I'm gonna live in the now. I'm going to enjoy my 16 inch MacBook Pro. This is amazing. Or maybe I'm gonna actually switch to the 14 inch. I'm not sure which one I really even want now. The 14 inch makes sense for you and how you travel. I like the 16 inch for the real estate, just showing client, because a lot of times you're editing, you're right there front and center. I'm doing something for a client, they're over mm -hmm. my shoulder, and those two inches of real estate, that helps it me a little bit. It makes actually a really big difference. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed telling you to make those rocks a different color. Like, this is really cool, telling somebody else what to do. <laughs> Wow. Why don't we do that more often? I don't know, we can. We should. Yeah. I think we should do that. Usually there's not enough time. Like I have to, you there's know, stay up time. all night and edit and I can't make somebody else do that. So it's like just you're gonna, you're just gonna suffer. So that's what we do. Oh my goodness. Well, Nathan, thank you so much for joining me. Thank I'm you for so having me. glad that you really got to experience this because I really wanted to have somebody else's perspective mm -hmm. to make sure that like I wasn't just super impressed and being a fangirl. Right. That this was justified. Yeah, no, like legitimate, this will save me days and it's just like you think about how time I mean time is money it's sad but the ability to shoot 8k raw and finish it with the client the same day that I shot it not have to render proxies like that's gonna change my whole workflow that's gonna pay for this MacBook for you okay I'll go buy it right <laughs> sold <laughs> well Nathan thank you so much I'll yeah. put all of his links in the description where you can go check out some of his work super talented so awesome thank you thank so much you. for joining me I look forward to seeing your review of the MacBook after you go shopping oh my today gosh. after you leave here no pressure Nathan we'll see you guys later again if you haven't already please subscribe make sure you hit the bell and leave us some comments below about I don't even know like are you impressed because I'm impressed. Nathan's yeah, impressed. I'm so impressed. Can't wait to see what everyone does with this thing. It's going to be amazing. We'll see you guys later. Bye.